This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hey guys, I'm here with a video showing you how I put on my Brigitte armor. And just real fast, I had to record a voiceover for this because the original sound on the video was just absolutely awful. So anyways, I'll start explaining what I'm doing. So the first thing I did was put on this corset thing, but it's not really a corset because I didn't feel like making a corset, so it's just stretchy fabric and I put an actual corset underneath the brown shirt and then pinned this stretchy corset that I made to it along the top and bottom so that it wouldn't like rise up or fall down or anything like that like fabric does and it would kind of stay like taut. I also have two tubes coming out of the back that will attach to the chest plate armor and they have velcro on them to do that but we will get to that part later so for my hair piece i've bobby pinned those into place and then this back one kind of goes on like a hair tie and there's a little elastic band along the bottom and i use that to just bobby pin it into place to make sure it's secure but it stays up pretty well without needing that just because the ponytail is so thick once I have all of the base clothing on, I start putting on the armor and I start with the legs and shoes. I just held up the shoe pieces, now I'm holding up the leg pieces and then the knee pieces. So this knee piece is attached with this brown wrap that I kind of sewed together and then all of the pieces are glued onto it including the little bolts on the side and that just slides on and off and then the leg pieces have elastic that I use to attach them and they sit like this and then the shoe pieces also have elastic along the bottom to make sure that they don't rise up when I'm walking and then along the sides so that they're stuck together and these are the shoes that I'm using for Bridget or Brigitte I've been saying Bridget this whole time. I'm so sorry. I play with friends who say Bridget and now I'm it's rubbing off on me because I've been saying Brigitte up until this point. What an awful time to record this video. I'm not redoing all this so. So anyways, this is how I put on the shoe armor. I just slide the shoe pieces up over the boot and then pull down the elastic to go under the shoe and make sure it's kind of like popped into place and pull anything forward and make sure everything's sitting right and then that's good and it's easy to get on as is. So before I put those on obviously I've got to put on all the leg pieces and I start with the knee piece and like I said earlier I just slide that up and to start off I slide up all of my leg armor pieces up higher than they're going to need to be because in order to get up get on the boots and get up the zipper on the boots everything has to be up higher otherwise the armor just gets in the way and then once the boots are zipped up and secured I go ahead and pull everything back down so when sliding on the leg pieces I only put the top band of elastic on the front leg piece on first and then slide on the back leg piece and then put on the bottom band of elastic on from the front leg piece because the back leg piece has to sit in the middle and I also helps hide the elastic for at least the top of the front leg piece and the entire part of the back leg piece if that makes sense as you can see here it sits in the middle and then I go ahead and put on the shoes like I mentioned earlier after everything's sitting way up high and zip that up and then slide the armor down like I've already mentioned okay
And once I have the leg pieces on, this is where I struggle to get up by myself. Usually I have someone help me. It's kind of tricky to get up, but I got it there. So the next part that I put on is the belt. And the belt has a whole lot of attachments all over it. So first, this is what the belt looks like, and I kind of just slip that on around my waist and then buckle it into place. And then I start attaching a whole lot of pieces to the belt. So the first pieces I'm attaching are these front and back armor pieces and these just attach with velcro to these little elastic bands that I have hanging down and they hang down to the point where it's just enough for them to sit at the height that I want them to sit. Then I attach this brown belt piece that she has that covers the front of her torso. I don't, I don't, it's not a belt piece, but I, I don't know what you call it, but this brown piece, I attach that. There's elastic along the bottom of the belt and along the bottom of these pieces, and I just clip that elastic into place. And on one of the sides of this brown piece, there's a square of elastic on the back so that I can then attach the skirt on top of that. And the top part of this piece will get attached to the chest plate, but not until we put it on, obviously. So next, I go ahead and I put on the thigh pieces. The thigh pieces have elastic at the top that attaches to the longer elastic band. And I chose elastic bands for these because when I move, it will stretch rather than like rip my costume or something. I don't want to make sure that nothing would get ripped and it was fairly flexible for an armor cosplay. And these thigh pieces also just close using elastic on the inside. Not elastic, Velcro. It closes with Velcro. And then I clip this onto, again, the longest piece here. After that, I attach the hip pieces to the other little elastic and buckle that's sticking out of the side of the belt. And here you can see I've pinned the elastic because I made it too long originally, so I just pinned it because I didn't really feel like re-sewing it. And I just clip that onto that piece, as you can see I'm doing here. It's just a lot of buckles, elastic, and velcro to attach to this armor. After this, I attach the skirt, which is a little bit wrinkled, but it's fine. Don't, don't pay attention to the wrinkles. This fabric gets wrinkled way too easily. Anyways, there's Velcro at the front and at the back. And again, I mentioned earlier that there's a square of Velcro attached to this brown section, this brown torso piece. So I stick that onto that Velcro. And then there's a piece of Velcro just stuck right on top there that I stick the back piece too. It takes a little bit of adjusting and it's kind of hard to see, but I got there. So next I put on the chest armor, but it's hard to do by myself, so I'm going to go over how I attach certain pieces. So to attach the shoulder pieces, I have these nylon straps with buckles on it on both the shoulder piece and the chest piece, and those just snap into place. I know this is the wrong side for the shoulder piece. So the nylon pieces and buckles that are attached to the chest armor. I had cut a slit through the neck and chest armor piece, like where that seam is, and kind of slipped the nylon strap through and then glued that down with contact cement and hot glue. And I also am showing the Velcro straps that the little tube pieces attached to, which I couldn't get to because they're stuck in my belt right now. And there's also a Velcro piece attached to the spine piece and on this part of the spine piece so that when they it can stick in place and like not pop out and it will sit under the spine piece in the correct order. And here you can see there's a bunch of Velcro pieces on the brown belt and I'm pointing them out where they're at. So in this clip I've returned and now I'm just attaching all of the pieces that need to be Velcroed 
on to the chest piece. So first I'm starting with this back tubing thing. And usually I have help for this part, but I wanted to do this on camera and I got it in an actual good spot. It covers the Velcro and how I wanted it to sit pretty much. After that, I go ahead and attach all of the pieces to the chest armor here, like the brown section or yeah, brown torso section, I Velcro that into place in the spots that I had just pointed out. Alright, so I usually get help from the shoulder armor, but I wanted to try it on camera. And this shoulder piece is a lot easier than the other one. This one took a little bit of fidgeting, as you can see in this sped up clip here, but I eventually got it. Usually this is the easier piece though, for some reason I just I couldn't do it. And then the yellow piece is the piece that I usually have the most trouble with because this one sits up a lot closer, has like a smaller belt and I just, I cut out me trying there. And after that, almost finished guys. After that, I slide on the armor pieces. Again, I have help with all these pieces because as you can see, uh, my, arm my arm movement is extremely limited. I felt like this is what it feels like to be like a super muscular person or something. It's a bit ridiculous to do by yourself because I just, I can't, I can't reach my arms together enough and after that, after I slide on these um, upper arm pieces though, I then slide on the elbow pieces which have a piece of elastic to keep them secure. Now all of the armor is on. I'm just going to show you guys the gloves real fast, but I don't actually put them on. So the gloves are just welder's gloves that I found online and they're a bit big. So I have a tie around one to keep the wrist in, but all of the pieces for the gloves are glued on except for the black piece, the, like the giant black band with the silver armor pieces on the glove that I'm currently showing you. That's not attached. That's just slipped over the glove and it stays secure like that so I didn't bother gluing that down or anything. That's it for this video though. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and check out my templates for this cosplay on my store. Bye!